Hey YouTubers, it's uh, Ray Brown from Innovational Health and um, are we really looking up at the ceiling? Yeah, we are. I'll get to it in just a minute. Okay, I don't know how many of you uh, have seen my um, previous video on replacing the LP gas sensor. If not, uh, the little device that uh, will go off if there's excess LP gas, you should go back and look at that because that's like a really important thing. And this too is uh, important in that this could save your life. And this has to do with the carbon monoxide um, detector or alarm in your um, RV. Uh, it's like really important, especially if you're running your generator or if someone is riding in the back of your um, RV while, while you uh, are on the road. I know they're not supposed to do that, but hey, uh, you know, we, uh, we all do it. Cats, our cat is back here and you tell them not to. Um, sometimes my wife will take a nap while we're on the road. Yeah, I know, not supposed to, but it happens. And I'm sure it happens where you are. Well, anyway, this uh, RV detector is made by CoStar, comes in most Winnebago's of 2012, which is our year. And um, it was supposed to last until uh, 2020. It was an eight-year um, carbon monoxide alarm, however, as in all things. Um, this did not last eight years, and uh, in testing it, it did started to do uh, the beeps that would indicate it was at the end of its life. So. Because this is on the roof where it has to be as uh, carbon monoxide rises, I was concerned about just going down to Home Depot and buying uh, Orlo's and buying another uh, detector that would fit in. And why is because you have to put the um, different um, screws mounting hardware into the um, ceiling. So what I did is I called uh, Winnebago's uh, best dealer, which is called Lixen Inn at LixenInn.com. I, I always watch their videos on YouTube. They're very helpful. And I asked them about this. And of course, CoStar, the maker of this particular uh, carbon monoxide alarm is no longer in business. And um, they did have a replacement, um, which is an official Winnebago replacement, which is this one here, kind of uh, generic to me, but it does have, if you can read that, it does have a... Um, Winnebago, official Winnebago part number. Now, this is a Winnebago Atasca Rail 25T, but I personally think these are probably in all of this year's models, if not years before and years after. But in any event, they have uh, replaced the one that used to be up here that I showed you before, and now I have to replace it that one with this one and I went to Winnebago to make sure I was uh, putting in the right part but this is what came and number one I was warned it would be smaller which means there's going to be an indentation up here and number two is this is important the ring does not match which I was hoping it would so I wouldn't have to put new screw holes in the top does not match up or line up with the old mounting plate. So let me take it down and uh, show you what I have to do to, to mount this one. Okay, so the old plate, as you can see, is gone. And now I've got to mount the new plate, which you can see is smaller. 
Um, the problem that I have are the screws. The screws of the old plate that held it in place for um, six years is uh, are these type, and they're actually screws. The ones with the new uh, carbon monoxide are these, which have these little white things you have to put in, and then you've got to put in the other screws, which are actually smaller. You know, these old ones held for six years, and I'm, and they're also not as long. I'm always afraid of hitting the actual roof, the fiberglass roof. So I'm going to go with the old ones and see if I can't put those in. Well, let, so let's see if that works. Seems sturdy enough. So now this is pretty simple. All I have to do is pull this yellow tape, which tells me that uh, the little beep tells me this thing is ready to go. And notice, instead of uh, 9 volt, this has got uh, AA batteries in it. And let me just put this up here. And let's see if I can't get that to go around. I'm really not very handy, as you probably can tell, if I'm actually showing you this. But yes, now everything works. We've had a test. The test is fine. So good. Now, what do I think? Um, unfortunately, the cost of the Winnebago product is $65. Uh, <clears throat> that's what they say is the best one for this particular um, application in this RV. How much different are these from a normal one you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's for less than half the cost? My guess is there's not much difference. So what I would do, seeing how I had to replace the mounting screws anyway, uh, and use the old ones. I would, and, and the, there's also the other fact that this one doesn't actually fit in the same hole. It's close and it looks good, but what I would do honestly is I would find one that is either the same size as the old one at Home Depot or Lowe's, or go with one that's slightly smaller, which is what Winnebago did and pay half or less of the price. And you could also get a combination alarm, which this isn't. You could get a combination carbon monoxide smoke detector alarm. Um, our smoke detector is up in the front, and eventually I'm going to have to pr uh, replace that one too. But in the future, when I do replacing of these types of alarms, I'm just going to go to Home Depot, and save myself quite a bit of money. That's the tip for today. Hey, if uh, you like this, give me a give me a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe because you never know when's the next time I'm coming out with one of these informative tips.